for the food in there. It smells good. You can smell the lime in there. You can... I should be drinking this on a beach somewhere. But let's try it anyway. This drink is all freshness and the spiciness of the ginger. Vodka is just the vehicle for the flavors of the Thomas Henry spicy ginger. You can... Uh... What's up, bro? Eh, what are you up to? Nothing. Just watching YouTube, drinking a mule. What's up with you? Nothing. Just watching YouTube, drinking a mule. True, true. Yeah, hold up. I got someone calling. Hello? What's up? Who's that? What's up? Yo, who's that? It's Tyler. Put him on the line. Yeah, hold on. What's up? What's up? Yo, Tyler, what you up to, bro? Not much. Just watching some YouTube and drinking a mule. True. True. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Never Empty Bottle. I'm still Tyler and it is still the warm and fuzzy season. And because of that, I want to bring you guys some warm and fuzzy cocktails. This is my good friend Jacques. Jacques, say hi. What's up? All right, that's enough out of you. Uh, but I'm not the only one bringing you guys the warm and fuzzy cocktails. Rob from Rob's Home Bar and Vino from 60 Second Cocktails have decided to all team up and give you guys 12. 12 unique variations of the Moscow Mule. So each video is gonna do four piece and we're gonna bring it all together in one collaboration video. We are super excited to show you. Each cocktail is gonna be unique from the other. So there's gonna be no repeats here. So we're super excited to show you. I'm gonna go step by step and break down how to make each one of my cocktails. Um, when you get a chance, then go check out their videos and their channels and it should be awesome. Let's do this. So as I said with these mules, all of them are completely unique using different spirits, um, different garnishes, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, this first one is a cranberry vanilla mule. So nothing crazy here. Um, you got your vanilla vodka, cranberry juice, some just fresh cranberries, um, and the recipe goes as follows. First add a little bit of crushed ice. Next you're gonna go with an ounce and a half of your vanilla vodka. You're gonna go three full ounces of your cranberry juice, so that's two, and one more equals three. Boom! Next, give it a good half an ounce of our freshly squeezed lime juice. Bloop. Now go ahead and top this cocktail off with the main component in all of these, which is gonna be your ginger beer. Now we go ahead and fill our cup up with a little more crushed ice. Now it's time for the garnishing. So go ahead and take a handful of cranberries, drop those in, take a lime wheel, put that on the side, and then take, ooh, and then we're gonna take two sprigs of rosemary and we're gonna just stuff those in like so. And there we have our vanilla cranberry Moscow mule. Let's go, I, I'm not gonna be able to wait. I thought I was gonna be able to wait and try these all at the end, but just looking at this first one, I need it now. Oh my God, that's the first one. The flavors speak for themselves and this cranberry and vanilla are just an amazing combination. If this was the only one I were to make tonight, I would be happy as a clam. Luckily for me, I got three more to go. Let's do number two. Now the standard to make a Moscow Mule is to do it in a copper cup, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of variation, so this is my goblet. Now with this Moscow Mule, we're gonna get a little muy caliente. I think I said a little very hot. I don't know, I'm not good at Spanish. Shock, you good at Spanish? What the? Makes sense. So the main spirit in this meal is gonna be our tequila, which you can use um, Reposado, Blanco, doesn't matter to me, I'm going with uh, Reposado Luna Azul and our sangria here, which is where it gets its name from, the sangria mule. And the recipe goes as such. A little bit of crushed ice. One half of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Two full ounces of your tequila, please. That's a lot. Now we give it one full ounce of our red wine or sangria, whichever you have. I have sangria here, so this should soften it up quite a bit. Oh, pretty color. And once again, we give it about four to five ounces of our ginger beer. Top it off with a little more crushed ice. Now the fun part of garnishing, go ahead and grab some fresh blackberries and just drop them like so. Oh, might have enough room. 
Once your blackberries are good incorporated, go ahead and take your lime wedge and drop that in, give it a little more color. And here we have our sangria mule. Let's give this a taste. I mean, it's absolutely what you'd expect. It's almost like a, a margarita with ginger beer. That's the beautiful part about ginger beer is it can, if you know, if you feel like two ounces a lot tequila, the ginger beer will save you. It will take care of you and it will be your friend. I would say we're two for two so far. Let's make it three for three. Here we go. This next variation of the mule I have actually had before and it is fucking amazing. Uh, this one has bourbon, some Aperol for a little bit of bitterness, and of course your normal lime juice and ginger beer. That This is the epitome of why the Moscow Mule is so freaking amazing, because you can throw any, anything in there. It does not have to be light, it can be dark, it can be red. Same as before, we start with crushed ice. Oh, We're going to go with one and a half ounce of our bourbon of choice. I have a beautiful unopened bottle of Woodford Reserve. One and a half ounce. Next, we're going with half of an ounce of our Aperol here, so it's a bit of a bitter liqueur. Um, it's gonna give it a little bit of a different flavor, and it's gonna change that color up quite a bit. Keep the one half ounce of lime juice ratio coming, because that is in every cocktail we're making today. Lastly, it's no mystery what we're doing here. It's ginger beer. Now this one we get to garnish a little bit differently. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this an orange wheel. So get a big fat navel orange, get a nice thin slice, just like so. Give it a little bit of a tuck. Oh, and put it in just like y'all. And here we have our Morrison mule. Let's go ahead and sip on it. The bourbon and the ginger, bourbon and ginger go amazing together. I just love actually just drinking bourbon and ginger ale by itself. So bourbon and ginger beer, not a whole lot of difference. It's freaking amazing. You guys should try this. So this one might be one of my favorites. I know I haven't tried the fourth one yet, so that's not fair to say, but this one with the bourbon just hits home a little harder. But we gotta be fair. Let's go ahead, let's make the last one and see what we got. So with all these variations of the Moscow Mule, there's gonna be some great names that come out. I know Vino's got a couple of awesome names for his. This one's my favorite. This is going to be the Ferris Mueller. If you don't get the joke, I don't, I don't know if, what we're doing here. I don't know if we can be friends. But this one's gonna take a little bit extra work. Uh, we're gonna have to muddle a little bit. Um, and this is gonna be the only one you don't actually build in your cocktail glass. So first thing is three pieces of lime into our shaking glass. Next, we're gonna go with about five mint leaves, also in the shaking glass. And next we're gonna go with two smaller pieces of ginger. Ginger's pretty potent, so you know, you use your common sense there, but we're gonna go put that in. Now we got everything in, go ahead and give it a nice muddle here. Um, we wanna go ahead and not completely destroy it, but we wanna give it a good mashup so that we can get some of the essence and the flavors out. This next one's a little weird, but you're gonna wanna trust me on this, but we're gonna go ahead with a pinch of salt for tasting. So go ahead and just sprinkle in a little bit of salt. Go ahead and pick out whatever vodka you choose. We're going with two full ounces of that in this cocktail. Um, in my personal opinion, vodka is what you mostly see in a lot of Moscow mules, so whichever vodka will work best for you. And kind of another curveball here, we're going with uh, coconut milk, so it's gonna be five ounces of that, which that is quite a bit. So that's only two ounces. That's four. That's five, five ounces of our coconut milk. Go ahead and crack some ice and throw it in your tin and give this a good hard shake with all that coconut milk in there. All right, now the fun part. Let's go ahead and fill up our glass. And for my orange garnish this time, I'm actually gonna slide it in there prior to filling it up with the rest of the ice. I just think it'd kind of look a little cooler. So we're gonna do that. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure you absolutely have a fine strainer here because we've been muddling ginger, lime, mint. We don't want any of those bits in this cocktail. So go ahead and double strain this. And it's going to be quite the interesting milky color here. Look at that. All right, for this last one, we are not going to fill it up with ginger beer. That's a lie, we're totally gonna fill it up with ginger beer. So I was making a big deal about the orange garnish, but as you can see, it kind of got lost in the milk. But. Go ahead and grab yourself a straw, place it in like so. Grab a few uh, mint sprigs here, 
give them a nice slap, and we're gonna just kind of slide those in here like so. That is a very beautiful garnish. This is our Ferris Mueller, which in my opinion is the funniest name of all. Oh, that is so good. I, that is, it's so much smoother than I was expecting. I, the cream obviously kind of takes over a lot of it, but I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I've never had it. There's a lot of weird ingredients kind of in this one, but. If you got the patience to make this one, it is absolutely delicious. I, all the ingredients run together very nicely. This is a very nice cocktail. So here they all are, one through four. I could not be happy with how they turned out. Each one honestly was more delicious than the next. Uh, I loved them all. They were all so, so, so freaking good. They each had their own kind of uniqueness that they brought to the table. I, I honestly don't even know which one I would say I like the best. So if you have not already, go ahead and check out Rob at Rob's Home Bars channel and Vino at Six Second Cocktails channel. Like I said, they each did four unique versions of the Moscow Mule, bringing it to a total of 12. Uh, no one of us is the same. This was a lot of fun to shoot with these guys. They are hilarious and it was such a good time. Um, I hope you guys get a chance to enjoy these cocktails. Uh, if you can, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment away as much as you want. Uh, until then, drink on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.